Hello everyone and happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Um, if not, then you know, happy normal day. <laughs> um, so today I decided to do a very dramatic sort of reading. I'm dramatic, I just mean the question's dramatic. And that is, will I be single forever? I think we have all asked ourselves this internally at some point. I mean, if not, then, you know, you got some incredible confidence and keep it up. But, I mean, I don't truly believe anyone's going to be like, well, some people might be single forever, but <laughs> but I don't truly believe most of us will be single forever. And I have a feeling the cards might show that. But just in case, let's just ask and figure things out. Sorry if you hear the little bleep. That's my phone. A um, little text message. But, um, <laughs> um, so, let's just hop into it. We have egg number one, egg number two, egg number three, egg number four, egg number five. I guess I could have done that by colors, but you know, whatever. The choices were made. So choose a color of egg that you love, whether that be gold, green, blue, purple, and pink. And we're just going to get started on will you be single forever? Okay, so if you chose the gold egg over here, shiny, 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 um, let's just get started on will you be single forever? You have the chariot, the fool, and the queen of pentacles. It doesn't seem that way. What looks like is you're going to have to put in a great amount of effort to like leave the past behind and make a new start for yourself when it comes to love. Like any sort of preconceived notions, any exes, any like past people you've dated, any advice, just kind of leave that all behind and come off with a fresh slate. Now, if you've never dated before or uh, had a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, then you just got to put yourself out there. That's what these cards are saying to me. And we have the Queen of Pentacles on the end, and the Queen of Pentacles is married to the King of Pentacles, so it does not look like you will be single forever. It just looks like that you got to be more adventurous, try different things, put yourself out there more, or if you've already putting yourself out there, then you've got to do it like a little bit more aggressively and more frequently because the chariot is kind of nonstop. You've got to make this like a focus, like a mission. You know what I mean? Like some people when they apply for jobs, they apply for like, I'm going to apply for 30 jobs this week and this week and this week. And then they set a schedule for themselves. You may have to do that. Maybe you have to try some dating apps. Maybe you have to talk to some friends. Maybe you have to join some clubs of interest that people you may find. Uh, maybe you could go out to different places. I don't know where people meet people, but like... Um, places where people might meet people, but you just got to be more active about it. That's what the chariot card is asking for you, and it's asking to take a sort of innocent point of view. Don't be so jaded. Be a little bit more relaxed. Like, um, don't look at, like, things from a negative perspective. Look at someone's positive qualities first, and then maybe try to see if you can, you know, deal with the negative qualities. Like the fool wants to put its best foot forward. It wants to see the good in people. It wants to see um, the, the, the just the best part of the world around it. It just feels like everything's like an adventure. So it's also asking you to go to new places and um, try new things. So if you're kind of like a hermit, if you're stuck in your box or if you're just kind of one track minded like the chariot can be, which can be like you're focused on school, you're focused on career, you're focused on, um, I don't know if you have kids, uh, if you have uh, pets, because uh, the chariot has two horses, it could be like that, it's just like me and my pets, because we've got two animal cards here, whatever, um, at the bottom of it. Um, so it can be like, oh, it's just me and my best friend, and that's it, it's just we just hang out together at my house, and you know, I think sometimes I see my friends, but like I'm really not, you know, seeing anyone right now. Like you got to get out of that. Like um, you got to you got to talk to people. <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's saying things like that. Just keep an open mind. That's what the fool is asking you to do. And the chariot is asking you to be focused as well. Be disconcerting. Like, you know, just don't be don't be like I wouldn't say don't be too open. You know what I mean? Like if you if you know you don't like something, then don't don't bother. But um, it's saying, you know, if you're on the fence about something, just kind of, you know, think about it and just say, okay, maybe this person, maybe I've never wanted to, I don't know, date a PE teacher or something like that. I don't know. And 
but this person has a really great personality and they make you smile, you make you laugh. So you think about it, you're like, okay, maybe, maybe I'll keep an open mind for this person. Um, the Queen of Pentacles over here, it's just a woman taking care of herself, trying to look her best, dress her best. Um, it's pinnacle, so it's practically practical things where it's saying take care of yourself in a way that like eat good food, eat things that are healthy for you, um, dress yourself, don't just wake up in the morning and like put your head in a ponytail and go out the door and flip flops. Like no, the Queen of Pentacles looks dressed to impress and then when you do that, you're going to attract more people. I mean, that's just common sense, right? If you, if you look good, you smell good, which the Queen of Pentacles loves to smell good because it loves that everything sort of natural and anything that caters to the senses, um, then people are going to really, really find um, you attractive. And it just came to me that you should probably just wear more red. Um, that may be a color that looks good on you, whether you're a guy or a girl. I, I don't know. But that came to me. Anyway, that is all I have for you, pile number one. You are not going to be single forever. Whew. Dodge the bullet. All right. <laughs> And um, feel free to like and subscribe, and I do get private readings. Look in the description below for any information on that. All right. It's time for you, pal number two. That was flat at the end. All right, we got the magician. Um, we have dun, 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 the two of wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, right away the answer is, well, one, it's up to you. And two, you may be, like, really young. Like, you don't, um, just because we have um, a card, the Two of Wands, which is, like, so early on in the Wand suit. And, I mean, it's coming right after, you know, the Ace of Wands. It's, like, you know, the birth of a new kind of exciting idea. Um action etc and then it's followed by a two so it's kind of like a baby card and then not only that but we have the knight which i kind of look of it as like a teenager sort of age for me in the deck so it's still very young i'm not saying you're a teenager but you could be i don't know but um it's just it's just a young energy so it's kind of like saying right now like yeah sure you can get married but like that's not what's important right now like you <laughs> the two of wands here is is saying that you need to focus on the things that you want to accomplish in the world because we have someone here looking at a globe sort of waiting planning trying to come to an understanding of just like the reach of the possibilities it's kind of reminds me of the fool in that way because there is a sense of travel when it comes to the two of wands but it's like that moment before um, they're about to travel like they know they're going to travel. They know they want to do this. They know they want to do that um, They know they want to go here and there, but they haven't Done it yet. You know what I mean? Um, they're just kind of like thinking about it and they're right at that moment where they're about to like say Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. Like I'm going for it. We're going on that trip It's like I kind of think of it as a car. That's like I packed my bags, but I'm ha I haven't left yet um, but that's where you're at. It's like you kind of know what you want to do, but you haven't like fully immersed yourself in it um, in the way that it's not your entire world is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you're not working hard of it at it, but we have the Knight of Pentacles. And by it, I mean your goals, um, <laughs> you like the things you want to accomplish in this life. Uh, it sounds like those things are what's more important, the universe is saying to me, but like... Like I said, the magician says right away that if you want something, like if you want to want to get a, get a relationship, get married, like um, get a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, like you can do it. Like it's not an issue. Um, but it's also not the most important thing right now. Um, and not only that, but it's also saying that you may have to just kind of wait a little bit. Um, cause right now you're kind of manifesting this knight of pinnacles energy, someone who is like good at their job, like they're good at their job, like they, they're focused, they're, you can rely on them. Sometimes they can, you know, work a little bit too hard or get caught up in the details too much. But overall, um, you're attracting someone who 
likes to take their time in getting to know someone because they are the slowest moving knight in the deck. So they're the type that's least likely to make mistakes, but sometimes they just get so focused on little small things that it may stop them from moving forward, which makes them the slowest moving night. So right now I feel like you're attracting in some someone like that, whether that be male or female, whatever. But uh, that's who you're attracting in. But you definitely have um, the option, like the world's at your feet. If you really want to get a, a girl or a guy, then it is possible you can do it. Um, but like I said, I see this reading two ways. Like it's either like this is not important right now or it's saying like you got to wait for like this person to like make their move because it might be someone around already watching. So I'm just going to pull out one more card. Queen of Cups. Yeah, to me, it's kind of like you got to like take care of the things that you want in life that you know that make you happy. Um... And you'll find more fulfillment that way and you'll gain a lot of discipline as well as you'll feel very accomplished. And then I think you won't worry so much about whether you're single or not because you'll have accomplished a great deal. Just want to make you so you see the whole card here. It's just like... You have so much, so many gifts is what I'm trying to say. Like you have so many gifts to give the world. You're probably a very intuitive, charismatic, caring sort of person or just the type of person who's just willing to help others when they're down. Like if you see someone crying, you're going to say, oh, why are you crying? You know, and stuff like that. Like you're just kind of like that sensitive sort of energy. You may even take on that sort of um, pain yourself that comes with being like an empath. You may be one of that. You may be an empath, um, but that's all I see. I just really see that it says like take care of yourself first. It's saying focus on that. And not only that, like, like you're kind of how can I put it this in a nice way? Right now, if you were like to force this issue and like really go out and go get like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, set or whatever, and whatever, you're not gonna find someone who's on the same equal footing as you. It's not like they're a bad character in any way, shape, or form. Like there, there'll be there'll be elements about your personalities that you guys will really feel like you are learning from each other but from your perspective it'll be like mainly you're teaching them it's kind of like you'll be mothering them you'll be like um catering to them it's just like you're gonna have to put in more of that work um that uh, that emotional work like let's say they plan the dates or whatever but like you'll be the one opening up to them and telling them about your life and, you know, your story. And they won't give that same energy back because they're just not, they're not going to be mature enough to understand that and to under, undergo the steps. I'm not saying they can never reach that point because they, the Knight of Pentacles always moves forward. They always move forward. Um, so it's just like, it's going to take them a minute. So that's what I'm getting for you, pal number two. Um, thank you. And if you like this reading, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm also doing private readings. Information is in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Okay. Egg number... Ooh. Let's make this nice and neat. Okay. Egg number blue... Let's get to you. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> but yeah. We have the King of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Devil. Wow. Okay, like, no, you're not going to be single forever. Um, at all. It, but right now, it definitely feels like it like it feels like you're attracting people who 
you can't quite get along with. And the reason I say that is because air signs and earth signs tend to kind of like bicker a little bit. Like there's a little bit of a tension there. And not only that, but they're both kings. And both kings have their own way of approaching things. Both kings have their own way of ruling. So this is how I see it. I see you being a king, the people you're attracting being kings, and you both kind of want to dominate, take control, rule. You both want things your way. Like, you may be like a very headstrong person. And all it's doing is just causing you a lot of just like stress. Like, you feel like you can't get out of this pattern. Like, you like, why do I keep getting people who our energies just aren't, they just aren't balanced. Like, they aren't, we aren't coming to see eye to eye. Now, I'm not saying, like, you guys aren't, um, like, either one of, like, the people you're attracting are horrible people. It's just, like, they just aren't the right ones for you. And because we have the devil here, that can represent a form of, like, sort of toxic relationships and etc. But, um, in terms of being single forever, I, I just don't see it. Like, uh, like both kings are married. Then we have the devil, which they are bound together with you by, like, obsession. Like, I mean, it's still a relationship, even if it's toxic. So, <laughs> the, the lovers are just, like, um, on a new level um, of, um, of, I don't even know how to explain it, of, of something else. They're on a different level. Um, Versus the lovers card. The lovers on the devil card are lovers who maybe be a little bit more jealous. They may be a little bit feel like codependent. They may um, feel like they can't live without each other. Like it's just like to the extreme where they sort of lose sight of their independence. So it could be that you are attracting that or... you feel like you just can't break out of this cycle of people that you're attracting. Like you just kind of feel like you just really attract people who just don't match your energy, who are just not in the same vibe as you. And I'm gonna pull out one more. I've got the Ace of Swords here, which tells me you just wanna break the chain. Like you just wanna cut through this pattern here. Like in terms of being Single forever? No, I, I just don't see it. I don't, I mean, that was the answer to this question. Like, <laughs> no, I don't see it. You're not going to be single forever. But it is going to be very difficult for you to kind of break this bond that you have. Like this, it's like, it's a very karmic energy. Like you just have more karmic relationships to learn. I think that's what it's trying to say. Like, I kind of feel like it's saying that like, okay, you're not going to be single forever. Like you already have... Two people coming up for you you know what i mean i think it could also be saying that or it could be saying that um you just need to you know nip this in the bud like just be like i don't want to deal with this but i don't i, I but but it's going to be hard is what i want to say like it's just going to be hard because i kind of feel like like this like there's some kind of destiny that you need to live out like the you just need to fulfill some order other relationship before you reach someone who's truly like the one for you let me just pull another yes okay two of cups yeah you just need to you need to just like go through some sh you're gonna have to go through some stuff okay like that's what the i mean i know i don't want to sound negative whatever but like we all have to go through some stuff in the future good bad and ugly um and I think you're going to have to go through some stuff in the future. So the cards are saying, yes, you will not, not yes, you'll be single. They're saying, no, you're not going to be single forever. But you're going to continue to attract, like, people who may not be right for you because you have to live out some sort of karmic debt. And you have to learn from this sort of what negative behavior. I think it's like saying you have to learn that the things that you don't want in a relationship before you reach this. Because, the, I mean, the Ace of Swords is like cutting through all the crap. It's like, I don't want this crap anymore. And so it's saying you're going to have to go through that, cut out all the crap, 
and get into this relationship or it's saying that you've already done that and you're just in the process of mentally saying I don't want this I don't want this I don't want that I don't want that and then being like got it like I know what I want and that's when you're gonna attract that person to you which I don't know what just came into my mind I think they might be a Leo but um, it, if they're not then you know it's whatever <laughs> I know people would probably think, oh, Capricorn, because of the devil, but I just have no feeling towards that. Um, <laughs> so um, thank you for watching um, pile number three. So you just got to cut through all the, the crap, the mental crap that you'll be good. You'll be good. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'm also doing private readings on my channel. Um, Information is in the description below, and thank you for watching. Okay. The purple egg is here. You guys ready? See if you're supposed to be single forever or not. Ooh, right away, Ace of Cups. I don't think you guys will be. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Emperor. So right away, we know the Emperor is married to the Empress. We have the Ace of Cups, which represents new love. And we have the Eight of Cups, which is saying, you know, goodbye. Goodbye to all that old stuff. And then hello, Mr. Emperor. So I'm guessing most of you are probably going to be female. And right now, all the cards are saying is you're you're leaving the past behind. You're, you're saying goodbye to all that nonsense. And you're going to be attracting the emperor like it's just it's super clear <laughs> the message is very clear and straightforward like i don't really have to go into much but um i'm trying to figure out if it's soon or not let me ask i mean emperor's aries and aries move kind of fast okay we have the nine of swords so this is you stressing about all the the bad stuff that happened in the past saying like Every time I meet someone new, I gotta, I find out they're not for me. I gotta say goodbye to them. I, I, they end up stressing me out. We end up not working out. They give me, it gives me so much anxiety. This is you at night or in the morning or daytime afternoon. I don't know when you stress out, but this is you stressing out about your love life. Saying like, is it ever going to get better? It, I mean, it's just... I just like feel your pain here. You're just like I can't deal with this. I I'm I I'm like you just see, all you see right now is like the 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 past, the the, the negative, the, the the things that just haven't worked out for you. And because it's the Ace of Cups, it's just like it's so it's you have so much feeling about it. Like you just feel so overwhelmed when you think about all the people who have been sort of like involved in your romantic life and this could be you willing to just give it up just saying you know what who needs this who needs this this love stuff like i'm i'm, I'm i don't even want to deal with this anymore i'm so stressed out but the fact of the matter is you're you are attracting some sort of emperor energy like that's next and I don't believe it's coming anytime soon, I will say, but it you are destined to be with someone. You are. It's just written in stone here. It's hard to avoid. Like the Emperor's this like the last card here, it's kind of like saying you leave in and then the Emperor's like, okay, where are you going? Like <laughs> you're not going anywhere. So I just wanna pull my cards. Okay. So we have the the two of pinnacles here. Which is kind of like you going back and forth or no, no, no. I think this is like, I think this is saying you're kind of willing to, it's just going back into your state of mind and saying that like, you're like, okay, I'm tired of stressing out about this, this love stuff. So right now I'm, I'm going to just go with the flow and by going with the flow and just saying, you know what, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do, I'm not even going to be concerned you're gonna meet this emperor type. I know that's what this card is saying. It's just, I mean, your answer is you will not be single forever. It's just saying, don't stress about it. Go with the flow. And by going with the flow and being sort of like happy-go-lucky, you're gonna attract like the, a very stable character, someone who is independent, someone who 
leads and cares about the people around him or her. And not only that, but they'll go through hell and back to protect the people that they love. I'm going to pull one more card. Justice. So this is a very intelligent individual because, I mean, the Emperor already, I think he has like a little staff thing. And then when the, the Justice has his like store, sword, I don't know if this person... This person just wants to protect themselves and other people and just believes in having things be balanced. Like they'll always consider your point of view is what I'm saying. They'll kind of like be able to take themselves out of a situation if you're in an argument. I think that's what this, this juggling card is also referring to. The two of pinnacles. It's saying that it's just... They're, they're going to be able to see things from both perspectives. So if you're worried that you're going to attract somebody who's just like one track minded, who wants to argue or who can only can't can only see their own selves and can't think, understand other people's point of view like you're not, you're going to get someone very understanding um, and they'll want to hear what you have to say is what I'm getting. They're just a very passionate individual and they're very they're very they have a very strong moral code code just a very strong moral code and they're just willing to guide others um they might be a little stubborn and like they're just gonna have they're gonna be opinionated without a doubt but they're also gonna be willing to listen so no pile number four you're not gonna be single forever i guess i had to go into what the person was like i didn't go in for anyone else Yes, you guys needed to hear that. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, and also, feel, I'm also doing private readings. The links is in the description. Sorry, I'm like barping right now. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> All right, so last pile of the day. We have the purple egg. It looks pink on camera. I don't know why, but it's actually purple. So. Here we go. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. And Temperance. That's an interesting read for... Will you be single forever? Okay. Right off the bat, I mean, we have the Three of Pentacles. is about, like, working with other people or kind of, like, being in a situation where you're surrounded by other people. Um, and then the Temperance is kind of, like, doing all the work on your own. Not Temperance. I mean, the Ten of Wands is doing all the work on your own. And then Temperance is, like, a balance. So I think it's trying to say... Well, Tempers is about people kind of coming together and understanding each other's differences. But the cards aren't particularly... I'm going to pull one thing. Ah! Nine of Pentacles, maybe. <laughs> maybe you guys will be single forever. I'm joking. Um, I think it's trying to say the choice is yours. Um, it's saying that if you work with others, like if you choose to sort of enter... A relationship where you both are kind of working towards your goals or whether or not you kind of choose the ten of wands like carrying everything on your back you'll kind of find a little bit of peace and solace with both things if that makes sense like whether you choose to just kind of be like super super independent or just like always working in a partnership whether you're in a relationship or whatever it's just saying you're going to end up happy either way is what i'm getting because we have the lady in the garden and she's like got her the bird on her hand looking at it adoringly count holding her coin like she's good um and i think that's what the universe wants you to know like don't even worry about it like you're 
whether you like it doesn't matter what situation you lead and for this card I'm seeing that you guys have a lot of choice so it's less about um, you being fated to be single forever or not it's more about you deciding what you want for your life though I, I will say being single sometimes it may be overwhelming but sometimes maybe when you're with the, the three of Pentacles here you're gonna feel like oh I kind of wish like I could do this by myself like I think you'll be constantly looking for like this not constantly but I think throughout your life you're gonna find yourself wanting some company and then you're like well I don't really want that much company so I think it's just you're gonna have to find if you want a relationship you're gonna have to find someone who will allow you to have that private time and who also allow you also will want to work together with you okay because I see that you can probably get overwhelmed sometimes when you spend a great deal amount of time with someone like all day every day and you'll you're gonna be like I just I just need a little bit of space hun just just you know just a little bit love you but I just I need some time to myself so I think the universe is just saying kind of just search for a partner that will be able to give you that look for that traits in someone someone who's not gonna be too codependent on you because even even if you're the kind of person who kind of likes that now who loves Sorry, my camera come at, cut off. Even if you're kind of the person who, who likes that now, who loves being, you know, around the person they love every minute, every second of the day, as you get older, you're going to find yourself wanting less of that. You're going to want more of a balanced sort of feeling. It's going to start to feel overwhelming to you as you gain more responsibilities um, and move through life. It's, I think that's what the universe is telling you. So it's saying that you, it's up to you. Like, it's just really up to you. Like, I'm going to pull one more card. Um, yeah, your future is bright, okay? It, whatever you want to do, whether you want to be single, whether you don't want to be single, whether <laughs> you're, you're in a relationship, you're in some sort of, I don't know, polyamorous thing or a friendship, platonic something. I don't know. It's just saying you're going to be happy either way. Um, you just need to find a relationship that will allow you to express your independence. Um, I, I just get that very strongly with these cards. So maybe you've had a hard time in the past, like, getting someone like that. Let me put one more card for you. Yeah, it's just so positive. Like, you just have, like, this whole world open to you. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> like this is such a positive reading. Like, choose choose whatever you want to do. Like, it's it really is your choice. Like, if is that's really all I'm getting. I mean, or maybe in the past you've been relying on people too much, and so. If you find yourself without a partner, because some people I know, some people are kind of like, uh, what's it called? When they kind of go from relationship to relationship to relationship. Um, I don't know what the word for serial monogamous. So maybe in the past you've been like that or maybe not. But um, um, for the people who have been like that, like there's kind of people just kind of really need a partner there. So it's saying like for those people in the past, if you've been this way, as time passes, that's not going to work out for you too much and you're going to need to um, learn to be more independent. You're going to lead to lead to learn to uh, rely on yourself, but it looks like you're heading in the right direction. Like you, you're just headed to a world of success, happiness, um, where a lot of people are going to find you very attractive. Um, very open, intelligent, uh, worldly, like, they're just gonna be like, wow, this person knows so much, and it seems like they've been through so much, and they seem so knowledgeable, like, you're gonna have a lot of people interested in you in the future, and that's if you choose to, like, be less dependent on others, like, the more, um, more certain and sure of yourself that you become, the more you will sort of radiate that energy. 
Um, but that's all I have for you guys. So I don't believe you'll be single forever unless you want to. And even if you want to, then it's like, shit's going to work out anyway. <laughs> so sorry for cursing. Oh my God. Sorry. But um, yes, thank you for watching the video. Feel free to like, subscribe. Um, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm also doing free, not free, sorry. I'm doing private readings. <laughs> I might do free readings like one day, but like um, I'm doing private readings. The information is in my description and hope you guys have a lovely Easter Sunday or whenever you guys watch this video. But yeah, this pile seems to be... I just get so much good energy from them. I think they're going to find someone really special. All right. See you guys later. Bye.